it, okay? So, uh, I'm Abhay again, and I promise you I won't take more than five minutes. Um, just so that we can tune our discussion a little, how many of you in the room are from the solar industry supplying components or, uh, you know, part of the BOP? Okay, how many EPC integrators? Okay, and how many developers or asset owners? One, okay, great. So then um, I'm from the ONM and analytics side of uh, Mahindra Sasten. Just to give you a quick insight, we are a part of the flagship Mahindra group. Um, we have five main divisions. Um, ONM and analytics is one of them which is what I would like to show something about. Uh, typically, like Mr. Vaman just mentioned, building a good plant and designing it well is only half the job done. It's really important for you to ensure that the operations and maintenance of the plant is up to the mark to ensure two things. One, which is maximize your return or generation. The second one, maximize uptime. So these are the two key levers. Um, coming to the portfolio that we have, today we are operating about 1.5 gigawatt of assets across India, the smallest one being 5 kilowatt and the largest one being 120 megawatt across 104 locations. But I think what I would like to talk about is one, the best practices that can be used, uh, examples being cluster-based uh, spares so that you can optimize the number of spares you're keeping, doing trend analysis, soiling analysis, doing a plant health checkup, ensuring there is condition-based maintenance and using real-time monitoring and data analytics to your advantage. Uh, we are proud of having an uptime consistently of uh, upwards of 99.7% for the last five years. To give you a glimpse of the other best practices that are available to the solar industry today is doing remote monitoring and central dashboarding, you also can invest in field testing, understanding what are the things that go wrong, a few of which Mr. Waman highlighted initially, and there are many more that you can do. And just to mention, we are uh, a company which has the only mobile PV lab, which allows you to flash test your modules on the site. So that's an investment Mahindra has made only to improve the quality of the assets that we have in the industry today. Um, typically operations and maintenance can be divided in uh, this fashion and uh, it's, it's a long term association. It's, it's not like EPC where you construct it in let's say five months and then you're gone. Um, processes, standards, SOPs, checklist will always ensure your plants have uptime but then that's not it. You need to train your manpower and ensure that your staff knows what to do when a situation arises. There are things that you can do when you're comparing two plants, when you're comparing within the plant, to push it to the global maxima, which can give you that extra rupee out of your plant. These are a few screenshots of certain predictive conditional maintenance that you can do at your plants. Um, coming to the key challenges faced in the industry today, I think, uh, the three big challenges that are there is one, grid and the grid fluctuation that we could see going forward as RE keeps increasing as a percentage share. Uh, margin pressures, not just on ONM, but even the subcontractors, the EPC players, uh, the balance of system suppliers. So across the industry, there's a lot of margin pressure which could lead to cutting corners and quality issues, which at the end of the day, will not allow you to deliver the kind of ROI that you had probably imagined when you built the plant. And the third one, which more or less we've been seeing ever since the solar industry started, but it's about local issues where locals can then make or break your investment decision at the location that you've put in. Just an approximate breakup of the ONM cost. The largest component of ONM is manpower. So whether it's for security, whether it's for technicians or the engineers who maintain the plant, or even the laborers who come down and clean your plant. So approximately 60 to 70% of your ONM cost would be your manpower cost. The others is maintenance, tools, tackles, analytics, etc. Uh, 
this is a quick shot of how complicated even a small 20 mega plant could be. I've retained this slide from three, four years ago. And at that time, this used to be like a major plant. 20 megawatts used to be like, wow, Waman mentioned during his introduction, IIT Bombay at that time, uh, Amit sir was a part of that team which did it. And I know at that time that one megawatt was a big plant. Need for remote monitoring, I think uh, four simple points for the reporting, for understanding downtime, to identify underperformance, and for asset management that Dhananjay sir does. Uh, coming to the new age monitoring tools, there are a lot of uh, alternatives that are available today. A few screenshots just to highlight two or three things. One, your dashboard allows you to see hundreds of plants in one go. Second, it can understand and do much more than what humans can do sitting and looking at a screen. And three, it allows you to do more than just monitoring and reporting. It allows you to take decisions today. Um, this is something that is central to us. Uh, we have continuously kept a focus on analytics and that's my designation as well, that it's my duty to keep focusing on analytics and seeing how data can help take better decisions. This is a slide on how network operation centers came about and how they're evolving as we speak. This is a quick shot of uh, the command center that we have in Andheri, um, which is manned by six people and monitors about 800 megawatt. And that's it. I hope I've kept my time. Thank you.